Hi, my name is Anders and I work for Lembrook. Maybe you just bought yourself an NAD product with a built-in Direct Live, or you have been using Direct for quite a long time but never got the hang of it. Um, in this video, I'm going to tell you and show you how easy it is to make a direct measurement. So, what do you need gear-wise to be able to make a direct measurement? Um, everything is included in the box, actually. Uh, you have this microphone. It is actually quite a good microphone, if it doesn't really look that that cool. Uh, you need the interface between the microphone and the NAD unit. And uh, you don't need anything else. Maybe a stand that you can put the microphone on. Um, but yeah, that's what you need. With most products, Direct Live is included with a version that can correct frequencies up to 500 Hz. Uh, if you would like to use the full frequency version, then you need to upgrade it on the Direct homepage. Though, though usually most problems in your room is in the lower register spectrum. Um, in this video we're going to focus on how to direct your system using the Direct Live mobile app. And this is how to direct your system. Connect your microphone and interface to your NAD unit. Start your NAD unit and choose analog line input. If there are more than one, choose the first one. Then start the Direct mobile app and choose the unit you want to direct. Now we need to adjust the volume of the speakers for the measurement. I usually try to have the same volume that I would like to use when listening to music. Usually that lies around minus 50 to minus 40 in the app. Place your microphone in the position that your ears are normally when listening to music to get the first measuring point. This is what you would call the sweet spot. Measure your first point. Now with your first point measured, you need to move your microphone to the next point. You will easily see that in the app where it's going to be. And with that done, you can measure the further next point. Continue to do this until you have all points measured. Note that the more precise you are, the better result you will get. You can make your first filter after just one measured point, but I believe they should at least make three measurements before you're making your first filter. After your measurements, it's time to construct your filter, or if you really would like to play around, you can make up to five different filters and save in your NAD unit. The first thing you will notice when you get into the filter design menu is that the app will show you the frequency and time response of your room and shortly after that the app will give you a suggested correction of that room. I would suggest that you just save the suggestion as your first filter. Press filter export, choose a name for your filter and press save. Now you can go back to create more filters if you would like that. For example, you can have a filter with more or less bass or treble. There are two sliders in the app that can change the conditions of both bass and treble. It is not like tone controls, but simplifies how to change the parameters used in your measurement. When you feel that you have saved your filters, you can exit the app and start listening to your now direct system. Congratulations! You have now made a great improvement of the room. 
In the BlueOS app you can actually change between filters and no filters. Here you can understand the difference or should I say the change of sound in your system. You could say that the room is blurring the sound from your speakers and Dirac is like putting on a pair of spectacles to give you the possibility to hear the sound clear from colorations. Remember that when you are changing anything in your system, so say that you would like to change the position of your loudspeakers, you need to do a new measurement because the measurement is done when the speakers are in that exact position. Um, the same goes for if you change anything in your system, if you are changing cables between your pre-amplifier and your amplifier or maybe loudspeaker cables. If you do anything to your system, you need to do a new direct measurement. But now you know it's not that difficult to do. So that was it. I hope you got some answers and that you liked this video. Uh, please comment, like and subscribe if you do. And we'll be back soon with more tips for your NED system. See you next time.